congratulations are in order. So congratulations to Jared Hurd. He scored a big victory this weekend over Ares Landy Lara. Uh, to me, it was no surprise that Hurd won. I predicted that he would win. I said that Lara's best days were behind him and that Hurd would be too big, too strong, and too active. Also, he's an offensive-minded hunter-killer, much like uh, Errol Spence in terms of his fighting attitude, his, his uh, fighting spirit. So I figured he would be too much for, for Lara to overcome, and he was. Yeah, so even though I wasn't surprised by the outcome, there were a few surprises in the fight. And I want to take a look at a few of those right now. The first surprise was Lara's uh, strategy. Never in a million years did I think the guy was going to uh, choose to uh, stand and deliver and even try to walk the bigger man down. But that's what he did. And it was not a bad tactic. I mean, it was not a bad strategy, but uh, it, it didn't work. And it really it was too late kind of to go to plan B because he had taken too much uh, body punishment at that time. And his, so his movement wasn't effective when he tried to mix in a little, uh, you know, sticking and moving there. I think also one of the reasons that he chose to fight in that style is because he'd been criticized in the past and been told that he's a boring fighter and all this stuff. And I think that criticism was, you know, finally starting to get to him. And he felt it might jeopardize a future, you know, big paydays. Another surprise was the judges' scorecard. All three judges had Lara winning the fight going into the 11th round. And for me, I just think that's completely outrageous because even without the knockdown in the 12th round, Hurd was the clear and decisive winner of this fight. And basically what the judges are saying is if he had not scored the knockdown in the 12th round, Hurd would have lost the fight. I mean, that's just, that's just crazy. So here's how we scored it. This is how one point fighting had it. I had Lara coming out and taking the first two rounds uh, pretty decisively. You know, he's out boxing Hurd at that point. The third round could have went either way. Uh, and actually on fight night, I scored it 10-9 uh, uh, in favor of Hurd. But if someone scored it 10-9 in favor of Lara, you know, I'm not mad at you. But for the purpose of this video, I, I scored it 10-10 just to show that even giving Lara 10 points for the third round, he, he still no way he would have won the fight. Fourth round went to Hurd. Uh, he hurt Lara in the fourth round. Fifth round, Lara came back. And what I do is I take my subtotal at the end of the fifth round. So at the end of the fifth round, it was 47 to 48. Lara was winning the fight at that point. Uh, sixth round, I gave it to Hurd. Seventh, Lara came back. So they're going back and forth in the middle rounds. Uh, the eighth round, Hurd. The ninth round, uh, definitely heard he battered the guy from pillar to post uh, in the ninth round. So in the tenth round, incredibly, Lara came back and actually took the round after taking a severe beating in the ninth, actually came back and rallied to take the tenth. And it was kind of uh, like a last hurrah, though, in, in a sense. It was like a desperation effort. So at the end of the tenth, I had... Uh, Lara winning the fight 96 to 94. So in the 11th round, Lara really had nothing left after shooting his load in the 10th. I mean, he tried to uh, load up a few times in the 11th round. I mean, he did load up a few times in the 11th round, you know, consolidated his energy. But, um, you know, he really wasn't that effective even when he loaded up. And that was one of the big differences in the fight that Hurd was able to walk through Lara's punches. Uh, he was able to take Lara's punches, absorb Lara's punches a lot better than Lara was able to take Hurd's punches. And in the 12th round, uh, it was 10-8 for Hurd. Uh, not only battered the guy again from pillar to post, but also scored a, scored a knockdown. So I had a 116-112 Hurd. Uh, you know, it was closer through the beginning and back and forth in the middle rounds. But, you know, I mean, Hurd, Hurd just, you know, steadily started pulling away as the, as the night wore on. So, you know, when you're judging a fight, there's three things that uh, we're looking for when we're judging a fight. And I can show you just how poor and horrible the judging is these days, right? We're looking for clean punching. We're looking for effective aggressiveness and we're looking at uh, ring generalship. So for me, clean punching and effective aggressiveness, you know, kind of go together. But effective aggressiveness, we're talking about the most punches landed and the most effective punches landed, all right? Ring generalship, who's commanding the ring, who's impo imposing their style of fighting, who's controlling the geography of the ring, 
moving the other guy around where he wants to be, keeping him at the distance where he wants to fight. So using the criteria of clean punching, effective aggressiveness, and ring generalship, how in the hell can you have Lara winning the fight at the end of 11 rounds? That's just ridiculous. Heard landed more punches, landed the most effective punches, and in terms of ring generalship, he imposed his will on Lara, imposed his style, moved Lara around the ring, kept the fight where he wanted it, which was largely on the inside. Um, I mean, Lara used footwork more, yeah, you know, defensively to get away, but I, I mean, I mean, I guess someone that doesn't understand what they're looking at might give Lara credit for ring generalship, but other than that, Lara got his butt kicked by boxing standards and by street standards. And if there is a rematch, it's only going to be worse. And if Kenny Bayless had not given Lara a full 16 seconds to recover before he let the fight re-engage, um, you know, he might have got knocked out. Oh, another surprise was how many people thought that Lara won the fight if you watch some, some of the videos out here. And because people are thinking that way, you know, we can, we can do it again. All right. It was an exciting match, uh, entertaining bout. So, hey, you know, rematch is not out of the question. And there he is, the defeated Ares Landy Lara. So where do these two fighters go from here? Well, hopefully for uh, Hurd, we get to see him lock horns with uh, Charlo. I mean, that's a fight that uh, all fans would love to see. And whoever wins that fight, that's the one we're going to acknowledge as the junior middleweight champion of the world. As for Lara, well, he, one option is to contemplate retirement. You know, he's already had a, a long career as a professional. But if he wants to keep fighting, I think a match against uh, him and Saddam Ali and the winner of that fight would put them in line for the winner of uh, Swift against Charlo. So that's the way I'd like to see it go down. Yeah, alrighty. Thanks for stopping by. I'm out.